Hello, people on YouTube. Welcome to a brand new Let's Play, and this time we're going to be playing Hearts of Iron, uh, Darkest Hour. How you want to say the title if you want to, but that's fine. Now, this is the one game I've been wanting to play, wanting to do for, for quite a long time now, and now we're going to do this to try and change the course of history. Uh, a little few details, such as the obvious, the single player, with the choices of from 1933, 36, 39, 40, all the way up to 45, including the two other scenarios, the Russo-Japanese War of 1904, and uh, full of ways, the invasion of Poland. Uh, among them would include the First World War, or the Great War, starting in 1914. We're going to be doing 1933, however, just on the just some just a couple of years before the start of World War II officially. Now you may notice that I have several of these nations. I have played this before a couple times and played several nations after all, well, Italy, Japan, and whatnot. But we're gonna be playing as Argentina, and I'm gonna do one two differences. Now for default difficulty was normal, AI aggressiveness is well normal, but we're gonna make this aggressive difficulty a little hard, not too hard. We're gonna leave that alone. Game speed, we're gonna maintain normal and choose the speed we want to in the game. Share countries, never bought with this. Auto save, we're not gonna keep, we're not gonna turn that on. Use encounters, not gonna bother. But one thing that can be changed is that everyone can start, can start a war. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn that on so we can just declare war on anybody. Hence, when we play as Argentina, we may not have any actual conflict for various reasons. End date, we're gonna maintain that, and etc, etc, etc. Full IC takeover and tech team takeover. I'm gonna leave them off and just get you as it is. So I'm gonna accept that, and uh, well, I'm gonna double check. Blah, 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 everyone can start war and accept. Now, we're gonna play as Argentina, and the reason why is that this is gonna be a little bit different than most Let's Plays, and I'm not really sure if somebody else may have done this. Probably not, I guess. But what I'm gonna do is play as Argentina, do what I can for the next several minutes or so for this particular for the start of this new LP. And well, by the end, I will actually want you to get in the comments to perhaps vote whatever nation, what other nation I can play as, play as because I can actually choose to save, do a save, come to back to here of that particular save, and choose a different nation, whichever I want. This includes other nations that are not, well, by default listed here. Right click and you can see that there's a lot of different nations. Most of which probably wouldn't get involved in the Second World War anyway. But I digress. And there is a there is quite a lot, I will admit. But we're gonna start with Argentina and see if we can well, let's make be a little aggressive, I guess, for Argentina by this year of nineteen thirty three. So, I'll see you in the uh episode and we'll get started. And here we are in the map, and I already paused the game already. We have the standard scenario so we can start the game. And of course these hints which will still be up. Now of course for this game we will be changing our policies, which can depend on what type of government we are. Right now, we of course we also have these decisions that we can do, that's a little later. Uh, right now though, we are a parental autocrat. So we are slightly authoritarian, we are a political right. Our society is in the middle. We are somewhat more free market, more on longs of demobilization, um, somewhat in the middle between the hawk and dove lobbies, which, as the description says, that it can range from realism of hawks to political idealism or internationalism of the doves, yeah, depending. We also have the choice of intervention or isolation. We're gonna go with a little bit intervention or right. No, no, no. Yeah, we're gonna go with a little intervention here. And of course, we have also a few things such as the independence guaranteed by the United States and territorial claims on the UK and Chile. And by the UK, it'll be here, the Falkland Islands. Now, of course, we could technically go to war, but I'd rather not bother by this time at the moment. Instead, we're going to be focusing our one other uh, potential enemy, Chile, and conquer them. And thanks to the option to declare war whenever we want, we can actually do that. 
Uh, but for now, it's best to just prepare ourselves just to be safe. Gather enough forces to the majority of the borders, at the very least, and get ready for war. So we're going to continue, and we're at normal speed, so this will be a little slow. Economy, uh, we're going to leave this alone for the moment, but we are going to try to build some units. Speaking of which, though, we have these all the regular troops, and we have aircraft as well, that we can send out to, well, air bases that we currently don't have. That can be changed a little bit that we can produce. Now, for here though, we have the serial run, which is just for one base. Parallel runs is how many, how many other, say, bases or units that can be built at the same time. For now though, we're just going to go with just one. As for the regular divisions, the army, uh, I would say we're kind of fine for that for now. We're going to have to just build up some brigade attachments that could add uh, be added to the regular army to the regular armies particularly some of the infantry and all that so for the brigades well I suppose we could use some police so we're gonna need at least two of those well three well four technically four other units basic anti-air nope cavalry we'll need just those and we're going to need some post-war tanks, basically just literally after the First World War. So these tanks are not really that fast, but hey, but hey, we could use some tanks anyway. Now we do have some aircraft we can build for Argentina, but not much. But now we're going to go to Tech Tree, and this is where you can research some new units, new technologies whatsoever. So we have infantry, armor, artillery, naval, aircraft, uh, industrial... Land Doctrines, Secret Weapons, Naval Doctrines, and Air Doctrines. Brigades is just showing what you kind of have. And of course you do get the random messages from right now the UK about diplomatic deals, particularly trade. So for now, we're just going to focus on what we can research. It's already long since past, it's long since past since uh, the First World War, or the Great War as it's still called. So now we can choose, and we have several choices, and the Depends on what skill that skills that each of these could have and what they can do. For so right now the main focus will be electronics, general equipment and artillery, and also training. Now you could technically choose the ones with maybe more than one, but it's also best to double check to make sure what skill they have. Right now this is skill four. Now it's best to, it's really best to take a look and see where else if anybody else has better skill. Well, the one currently is this one, the Elec Erectio Argentino, and we're going to start with that. So that's one project started. Next up, Land Doctrines. Well, we could choose the Grand Plan, which increase requires plus f defense bonus focus and all that. And there are some pros and cons, of course, but we're going to go with the hospital system. And so that we could add... Well, at least have the attrition and the trickle back modified a little bit. But who to choose? Who to choose? Um, we're gonna go with the Bonji Bongi Born. Um, not really sure how you say that one. And of course, for naval, we will need some new transports, though. Particularly these ninety, the uh, troops are twenty-five and hence the number, 1925. So we gotta choose the one that can build well, research naval designs. Now we could research some actual warships, but I'd rather focus on the transports as we're gonna be dealing with the possibility of the UK if and when it's possible. So, the one currently will be at least technical efficiency here. Same with here, and that's kind of it. I would rather get skill, so we'll just go with this particular group and start on that. Also we have intelligence, but I'm going to enable auto spying so that the AI can choose who to spy and who to sabotage or whatnot. And so we're going to have some messages here of what's going on, including uh, what we have. And then of course several other events such as Japan having the Sanriku earthquake. And of course Germany. Well, now 
the Nazi Germany, of course, with Adolf Hitler at the head of, as the head of state. When you play as Germany of this time you do have a choice. You can either follow history with Adolf Hitler to take power, or for whatever reason, the communists somehow taking power. But, I'm not so sure about that. And of course, several other events, including Germany prohibiting the old Weimar Republic flag, the flag that was before the current Nazi Germany, or Third Reich if you want to say. And of course, you can choose to increase the speed by just going, uh, choosing the control key and press the plus bar and just increase the speed. But we're going to go with above normal for the moment. I just have the Argentinian troops just gather here and I'm suspecting there's nobody up here. So we're going to have to go down here instead. Of course, I could go here and press and hold shift, right click to another direction and that would be nice. And another event is Germany withdrawing from the League of Nations, the precursor to the United Nations, of course, to those that don't know. I'm just just pointing out a few things after all. Now, the way to check what we are trying to produce, the airbase is only 10 per... now 11%. These other units... well, attachments, not so much. So tell us, we do have quite a lot quite a number of choices, including ocean-going submarines, the Venetia de Mayo class, a uh, cr heavy, heavy cruiser, which I have no, which I'm not really sure which country this was originally from, but oh well. We're going to probably build just two at the moment, and these will be at the bottom for them, at least for now. Speaking of which, we do have a small fleet here, lots of outdated ships, and some transports. Which, by the, which for me, I am have to separate just to be safe. And the same can be said for the submarine, which will be on its own, and the rest of the ships are going to be just fine. Reason will be if there is a possibility of Argentina to go to war with Britain just to retake, well reclaim the Falkland Islands. But for now, we're just gonna do what we can for this but for this episode. As as I said earlier, by the end of this, I will end. But I will want you to vote what other nation I should play as, as the save file will be as it is, but you can have the option to be able to choose what other nation's going on. So you play as one nation, you do certain events. But then you play as another nation, and the AI will do whatever they can in their region. So, if we're still at war, if, if Argentina is still at war with Chile, the AI will do what it can, and probably eventually annex uh, Chile eventually. But for now, we're just gonna get these troops, which are rather slow because this is still somewhat post World War One technology. And while we're at it, we can just take a look at the rest of what's going on. Here's the United States, and. Uruguay has failed with a smear campaign. Really, Uruguay? Was that really a smart idea? Probably not. I wouldn't be surprised to decide to choose to invade them instead, eh, as well. If Argentina gets another vote as well. Next up is Newfoundland, Canada. We have the Dutch East Indies here and Australia, which includes these parts, uh, New Zealand, and China, well, being divided. We have the Nationalist Republic of China and the Communists right here. Among among these other nations include the Shangxi clique, the Guanxi clique, and the Sanma clique. All of these are pretty much puppet states of national Chinese. Well, well whether or not you can call them that, uh, puppets anyway. Next up is the Yunnan clique, which is in the purely independent, and of course, the Republic of Tibet, a national socialist nation. And here is Japan, that is a fascist nation, where Saito Makoto as the current Prime Minister and, of course, Emperor Hirohito. And of course, Manchukuo, the, which is a puppet state of Japan, with 
the, la uh, the last Chinese emperor, Puyi, and the current governor, Chang Jinghui. Oh, and uh, the Philippines gains their independence from the United States, but still technically a puppet of the United States. We have the British Raj, the Soviet Union, the Tanu Tuva, a small independent nation in this small province that I've... To be honest, I never even heard of this nation until this game. Next up is Xinjiang. We have Italy and, of course, Albanasia, aka, aka uh, Ethiopia. And at some point, eventually, it Italy will begin their invasion of Albanasia, eventually to create the Italian East Africa, a, a puppet of Italy. And of course, we're not forgetting about the mi several events that could happen in Europe anyway. So anyway, let's just go back here. Most of the troops are still not quite there yet, so we're going to have to try and increase the speed a little bit too fast now. Or actually go to very fast. And of course, we did get an earlier message about certain choices, such as... So, here they are. We could enact the partial mobilization. We could er issue a currency, which we might do. Now, of course, for here, you get this uh, right here, but you also can choose if you want to cancel or do what you can. Now, of course, you gotta be careful, because right now, we could get plus 400 money, but industrial efficiency will be about uh, down by 1%. But we're gonna need the money anyway, so we're just gonna buy it. Get, yeah, just do that. And because of the increase of money, temporarily, we have several new options, such as, such as the prolonged terms of service, and purchasing two different licensed units. We have the licensed unit, and obsolete. Which, I really don't know, personally, how exactly can you get these, no matter what, because I don't even know if you have to be in a, an alliance, but whatever. And now we got two of the police forces done. And I can choose who to give, I'm just, I'm just gonna randomly give them to each of these units. And let's check the economy again. Air race is not done yet. Cavalry, not quite. Post-war tanks are going to be very slow since they're at the bottom, and the ships, well, judging by the color, of course, and they're not being started at all yet. And that depends, because green means full funding to begin production. This yellowish color, maybe half, I guess. Orange looking, eh, none. So that's going to be annoying. Among other things is to manually do what we can, including upgrading our units. Getting that, getting some consumer goods, trying to balance things out a little bit, but it's not quite easy in the production category, so as a result, uh, this will keep shifting. But anyway, I think we may have delayed long enough. We have four units here, we got three over here, so we're gonna slow down a bit too fast, game speed too fast. And, well, we could demand territory if we want, but we're just gonna go to war. National descent is now up, but that's fine. So, now it's time to launch our own invasion of Chile, and we're going to choose to attack two units to attack, one unit to support. Uh, these two uh, attack this territory, Valparaiso, and then hit toward the capital of Chile. As for here, well, we do have technically four units, but we have three cavalry, though. I really wasn't thinking this through, wasn't I? <laughs> oh well, uh, let's just get these units to attack and use support. There we go, and let's get a move on. Engaged, engaged. Now that we're at war, we have several more things, including general mobilization, which we will do. And the reserves are already here now. Yeah, in terms of the manpower. And new technologies, new infantry types. So now we're going to go with the 1926 infantry divisions. And sadly though, our economy is not doing well. Might as well just let the uh, AI do what they can at the moment. And to see how things are in the conflicts. 
battle for Santiago de Chile is doing well. Okay, got a victory there. That means we maybe we'll be capturing that. And of course, the only way to fully annex a nation is to control the victory points. Right now, it's for Chile, it's their capital. And another one all the way up here, the province of Iquique, or however you pronounce that name. So that's two territories we gotta deal with. But our forces are, at the very least, able to actually hold out. Now we're gonna pause a bit, have these guys attack, have one of the units left behind support. And there we go. This base is now ours, although the... No. We're gonna annex you, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'll have the I'll let these guys get over here and uh, to take that over. Uh, one of the units here supports, or actually both of them support. Well, considering being outnumbered, I wouldn't be surprised. Ah, new no troop ship. That's nice. No, and some new stuff, including police. Uh, let's try and get this started, though. That for some reason I did not do. Well, get that started, and now for industrial first. Uh, wait, pause. Another victory. Now for industrial. Um, nuclear atomic research. Nah, we're gonna go with synthetic oil. We, we do need the oil anyway. If we are, if Argentina is gonna get some vehicles, so we'll just continue. Now, these units are going to retreat. These two are going to take the current new capital of Valparaiso. But the, Chil the Chileans are going to counterattack, though. So, we'll have these units attack. Enemy in sight. No surprise about that. Yeah, this isn't really looking good. Counterattack. Victory. Now I'm gonna speed time up a little bit to very fast, and Japan had an economic recovery victory. Still get a lot of messages after all. Now we're gonna have to deal with trying to reach all the way up here and a defeat, which I'm not surprised. Of course, gotta get over here. Gotta get these units. Up here, you turn around, and head to the former Chilean capital. Of course, we are going to have some rebels. That is sort of expected. And I'm just going to have the Air Force do what they can. And of course, uh, sending the new units what they can. And of course, getting some propaganda so we can at least try and get some support for the war. Another defeat. Well, not surprised about that. I suppose. And they're probably gonna attack here, whereas our victory point is Buenos Aires. Really? Well, wasn't expecting about the rebellion, but oh well. Well, there we go, we lost another territory. Looks like this war for Argentina is not looking good. I'm not gonna bother, because this is actually turning out to be a lot more difficult than I would like, for Argentina at least. And I'm already on the... somewhat in the past the 20 minute mark. Well, let's see... Have you attack? Have you support? You are not even close to getting there. You're gonna turn around. And... I oh, got another victory. That means once we take this, we should be able to annex Chile. At least, that's the theory. However, the Chileans are really not going to... Nothing's 
go, unfortunately. Our victory there, forcing them to retreat to here. And unfortunately, they the Chileans are getting a little too close, so this is not looking good, unfortunately. Uh, might as well just it, get the speed to extremely fast now. New technology, and because we lost some territory, we lose our re one of our research poles. There's nothing we can do about that. And of course this area is starting to become more and more frustrating because these units keep coming back. And of course a rebellion here which is easily crushed. Easily getting these pushed out but now we gotta deal with these rebels. Which also pretty much would be the case to send some ships to start bombing. Even though this was our territory but probably best to deal with it, and of course, more rebellions. And I and I could have sworn... And I could have sworn I had only one of these units attacking. Not sure what happened there, but now we lost some units there. Lots of partisans now. Well, this... Well, the difficulty AI is a little higher than most. After all. Now, whether or not if the AI would, now whether or not if the AI could do anything better than I, than I would have done here, since this was turning, since this is somewhat turning to a disaster after all. But anyway, let's just get these guys to take Buenos Aires again. And well, admittedly, this is sort of my own fault, as I should have attacked somewhere else. Have you sent over here? Trade agreement with Italy. All right, that's nice to know. Lots of events going on, I'm sure, all across the world. Reducing speed a little bit, and I'm not gonna care about any peace at the moment. Unfortunately. We are losing supplies rather quickly, though. So, yeah. It's not really looking good at the moment, but you never know whether or not, the, whether or not things could change, anyway. The economy is as always. Uh, supply lines are not really doing well and somehow defeated by these partisans. Right. Ah well. I'm not really caring since hopefully I'll be able to play as another nation eventually. Eh, maybe. More information including the message about the synthetic plants, that's not gonna happen. We get some new stuff, we're gonna start researching that. Gaining some victories, especially against the Chileans. And to see if to get these units to go up there. Hopefully these units will be able to take Buenos Aires, maybe. Supplies, of course, is somewhat the main problem right now. Let's just manually do that, if possible. And... No, I'm not gonna bother with any peace. Hopefully. Not a defeat. Trying to deal, deal with these partisans, of course. And of course the cavalry will be retreating, which is not quite surprising. 
But whether or not the AI once I can let the AI take the reins as Argentina and see whether or not they can conquer Chile or make peace. That kinda depends, I guess. But I'm gonna stop right here. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's not looking good for Argentina, but they might be able to re rebound. At least in AI wise. Because now I'm gonna end very right now. But for the next episode, I want you to go in the comments and vote what nation I should play as next. Upvoting will count as well. But I hope that you enjoyed this and see you again in the next episode as another nation. So, until then, see you then.